I was gonna make breakfast, but I'm getting chased by a hornet. I want to be right over there in that lake. That looks amazing. So last night, <laughs> um, after sitting out and watching the sunset, um, I went back to my camp and was messing around with my stuff in my backpack and a copperhead <laughs> had been hiding under my backpack when I was rifling around in it. Is that a copperhead? Oh my god. Ah! It's under my backpack. <laughs> and uh, that was one of the scariest things that's ever happened to me. That was terrifying. Um, I like, so the way that my tent was arranged, I was like kind of boxed in. Um, I was just like sitting there and this copperhead was agitated. I was like, oh God, this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Um, so I like leaped over the back of my tent and ran to a nearby campsite where uh, dad and his son were putting up camp. And I was like, hey, um. Sir, <laughs> there's a copperhead under my backpack. Can you help me scare it off? And he was like, uh, no, <laughs> which is a totally valid response. Um, I was like, well, what do I do? He was like, I don't know, just let it go away. I was like, okay. <laughs> so maybe like an hour later, there was stuff in my backpack that I needed. So I went back out with my headlamp and just like really cautiously like moved my backpack and it was gone. Thank God. Um, but that was scary. Uh, it's not the world's most venomous snake. Like, I mean, obviously, don't get bit by a copperhead, but um, I probably would have been able to, there was service at Annapolis Rocks. I could have called 911 and been like, what do I do? So I wasn't like in the worst place to get bit by a copperhead, but um, that was an eventful end to a already pretty stressful evening. So, I don't know. I think if I'd gotten bitten by the copperhead, but that would have been like injury to insult. Is that how that works? Or maybe just like injury to injury? <laughs> if the copperhead bit my already hurting feet, maybe it would have fixed him. I'm not a doctor. mushroom. It's like a apple red color. Has gills. That's a nice one. No clue what it is though. Just don't eat it. This is where I was going to push to last night before my feet said no. That's a, a bit of a climb. Hello flug. That's a cute little flug. Tiny toad man. down here is red clover. You can use it to make tea. It's good for local allergies and it is really pretty. And this here is white clover. All the same holds true. What the heck is that? It's 
like a tarantula hawk. This is scary looking. Ooh. Another flug. Oh, there he goes. Bye, flug. So this is the trail right now. It's Rock City. It's gonna flatten out here and look a bit better, but um, if this is a any indicator on what the second half of Pennsylvania is gonna look like, then ooh, I'm in for it. Oh, look at these mushrooms. I think these are puffballs. How nice are those? All right. We did it! I am officially... Oh, that's a logbook. Right there. I'm officially in Roxylvania. Oh god. Here we go. Oh yeah, they'll knock, they'll knock on the door. Hi, sorry to bother you.